Okay, we're going to look at glenohumeral flexion. Um, flexion occurs in the sagittal plane about the medial lateral axis. We are oriented. We're looking anteriorly because we can see the sternum here, um, glenohumeral joint, and the clavicle. We can also see the anterior vertebral bodies. So let's look at glenohumeral flexion. The arm is coming anterior, and it was the clavicular head. I'll just put the pectoralis major back on here. The clavicular head of the pectoralis major. And when that's dissected out, we can see we have the anterior fibers of our deltoid and then the coracobrachialis, all contributing to glenohumeral flexion. To summarize glenohumeral or GH flexion, it occurs from the pectoralis major, the clavicular head, uh, anterior deltoid muscle, coracobrachialis, and again, it's a sagittal plane motion about the medial lateral axis.